then he heard a voice. Hello. Thomas looked around. There was no one there. He waited, hardly daring to puff. Hello. Thomas looked around again. He couldn't see anyone. The voice seems to be coming from the bushes. Very slowly, Thomas chuffed forward into the bushes. The branches crackled and crunched. Then Thomas gasped. His eyes popped wide with wonder. There, on the other side of the bushes, was a very old engine. It was broken and rusty. Thomas felt scared. He didn't dare speak. Then, the old engine smiled at him. It was a little frightened smile, but it made the old engine look kind and gentle, and it made Thomas feel less scared. Hello. Too bad your brakes failed. Doesn't that always happen when you're on a hill? The old engine smiled again. Thomas wanted to smile too, but he was scared. He didn't know whether to speak, toot for help, or race backwards as fast as he could chuff. But Thomas didn't move. He couldn't take his eyes off this extraordinary engine. Hello, my name is Thomas. Ah, my name is Hiro. Thomas wasn't sure what to say next. He had never met an engine as old and strange as Hiro. Why are you here? Where have you been? Ah, that's a very long story. Do you like stories, Thomas? Yes. The little engines in the hills tell me stories all the time. Then, I hope you will like mine. I came here a long, long time ago from another island. I was one of the first steam engines to arrive on Sodor. Thomas was amazed. Where is your island? My island is a long, long way away. There are mountains and snow and sea. There are lots of railways. I was the strongest engine at home. I was called Master of the Railway. How did you get to Sodor? I came in a very big ship. The journey lasted many days, and we sailed many seas. When I arrived at the docks, it didn't look at all like home. What was Sodor like then? It was very quiet. I was the only engine on Sodor. They called me Master of the Railway here too. I was very happy. What happened? <sighs> I started to break down. The mechanics didn't have parts for me, so I was put in a siding. I had to wait for parts for my island. I waited and waited, and now I'm sure the parts will never come. Thomas's eyes were wide with wonder. Do you miss your home? Yes, I do. I miss being master of the railway. Thomas looked at his sad new friend. He felt sorry for Hero. I know. I'll go and get the fat controller. The fat controller runs our railway now. He'll know how to help you. No, no! Please don't do that. You must not tell the fat controller. Thomas was surprised. Why? I'm an old engine that cannot be repaired. I know what happens to old engines that cannot be really useful. They are scrapped and sent to the smelter's yard. That's not fair. That's not right. That can't happen to you. Thomas could see that his new friend, who was once master of the railway, was now old, alone, and scared. So Thomas made a decision. I will look after you, Hero. I won't tell the fat controller until you are fixed. You are safe with me. I'm sure I can find the parts to fix you. I promise I will make you a really useful engine once more. I will make you master of the railway again. Hero smiled the biggest smile he had smiled in a long, long time. Thank you, Thomas. 
Thank you for looking after me. Thomas puffed with pride. 